Happy holidays, Alicia Harris here, Optimum Nutrition Athlete. Today we're gonna to go over some of my favorite holiday recipes. Let's go inside, it's cold out here. Today we're going over some recipes that'll be great for the holidays. We are first gonna make a hard body pumpkin pie shake. I already put together three fourths of water and a cup of ice in a little blender. Um, I'm gonna put two scoops of our French vanilla cream protein I'm using a pumpkin puree, it's low in calories, low in fat, so you guys don't have to be worried about any uh, nutritional anything because it's really, really good. I'll put two spoonfuls of that. I'm also going to put two packets of stevia or any sweetener that you guys want just to cut the taste a little bit. Pumpkin can be really, really strong. Also to cut the taste, we're going to put some vanilla extract. Um, just a teaspoon of it, but for this, two, two little squirts. Also gonna put some pumpkin spice in it. And I love cinnamon, it's optional, but I'm gonna put cinnamon in our shake just to make it how I like it. Putting the top on, and time to go on the blender. And in just a few seconds, we have a hard body pumpkin pie shake. I don't know who doesn't like peppermints for Christmas time, but I do, so I have made a peppermint shake. Um, today we're gonna use the Hydroway chocolate protein. You can use any kind of chocolate protein you want. Let's put a scoop or two into uh, three, three fourths a cup of water and a cup of ice. I'm gonna put two scoops. I'm using uh, peppermint extract, it's uh, super strong, so um, put a fourth or even a half a teaspoon of it in the drink. And also I'm putting some Greek yogurt, it's uh, super low in carbs, super low in fat, it's really, really good, it's got protein as well, so I'm gonna put that in our drink to make the smoothie a little more thicker. I just put two spoonfuls of that. Let's close it up and blend it up. Voila! We have a chocolate peppermint shake. Cheers! Yes, it's not Thanksgiving, but pumpkin is a seasonal type of flavor, so why not make pancakes with it? Um, first, we're going to put some pumpkin mix in it. Like I said, put two scoops, two spoonfuls. This calls for two egg whites. I already um, took the yolks out, so we'll put the two egg whites in. I'll put a little cinnamon on because I like some cinnamon in my pancakes. Also add some pumpkin spice. This gives it a little more flavor. I usually put one third of oatmeal, old fashioned oatmeal in it. And one scoop of protein. We're gonna mix it up and if you see that it is too thick then you can add a little bit of water so you just kinda gotta play with it and see what kinda consistency it comes out to. It blends a little thicker, so I'm gonna help get it out with a spoon and then we can go over to the skillet. Let's put the oven on, a little bit below medium. I think I got my mix as thick as I like it. If it's too thick, you put, you just add a little bit more water. Voila, we have pumpkin pancakes. I put a little cinnamon sugar on them just to make them a little more sweeter. You can put syrup or honey or whatever you want, but they are delicious. So guys, just a few creative ways to make your holidays a little bit brighter with our pumpkin pancakes, our chocolate peppermint shake, and our hard body pumpkin pie shake. Um, please go to OptimumNutrition.com for any more information about our protein. You can go to Optimum Smoothie for any creative ideas about our smoothies, and also TrueStrength.com to answer any of your protein questions. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.